everyone, welcome to part two of the Advanced Restoration Clinic Weekend Lab, whatever you want to call it, here at Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science, where the students are doing their three-day restoration lab. Um, check out part one if you have not, but part two here, we go into the plaster of Paris skulls. They're gonna smash them and at least break them into three, four, five different pieces to then have to wire them and zip tie and connect them all back together as if the person had had skull trauma during their death. So this is a good application, very hands-on thing to be able to get to do on a trial run when you're not working on a body. So let's check it out. So step one is going to be the team of students coming up and smashing their head. It's just a gentle tap to crack it into those pieces. So let's check that part out. and they're now beginning the reconstruction in teams. They have drills, they have zip ties, they have scissors, um, they have what's called a calvarium clamp. Go check out my two minutes on the term calvarium clamp. But it is this. <laughs> So two sides of the skull are put on each side of this. It is screwed down and cramp prints the skull in uh, and so it holds it in place. So we'll find somebody that's doing that so you can see that. Let's go check out what they're doing. Yeah, like perfect. All right, now let's like spin it underneath. And we have yeah. to. Other one. Well, we have to. Oh, girl, you're so tight. <laughs> it has to be tight. No, yeah, be careful. Yeah, I was like, don't break. Are we okay? So they are notching out the skull with a file so that that calvarium clamp screw can sit down in it so the two pieces of skull will butt up to each other flush. And so that uh, the skull is close and tight when it's put back together. So that's why they're notching it out with like that.
the way they are graded on this portion is they have to use at least one wire, one zip tie, and one calvarium clamp. Then part of the baby is how loose is it that they can rattle in here. That's probably not going to be an A. It needs to be nice and tight so that all the pieces are in and together. Now, when they get over just zealous with their breaking, this happens. And they can't get it all back together. Which, yes, this happens in real life where you may not have all the pieces, but they also ran out of time. They only have one hour and 15 minutes to reassemble these skulls. So, as you can see, Again, one's a little loose, loose pieces. Oh, okay. pretty good, good job. So you've got the zip ties, you've got some wire, they've used a mesh piece to fill in the holes. And this one does not have a calvarium clamp on it. Thank <laughs> you. Very good. This session went super fast. It's under two hour session, so it is a pretty quick task um, and they have to move fast and they work as a team so i think that also makes it move along pretty quickly so students are finishing up and they're getting their things judged get them shaken to see if they have a tight closure on all of the brakes and if they're gonna get an a b or a c so what'd you get so we got an A. Shake it for us. Ooh. Nice and tight. Uh, so what we did is, with the, the, the hardest part was the top. With the uh, wire mesh, we laid it across and then we used just a singular long piece of wire to like weave it. Um, and it kept every piece together a lot tighter. So yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What's that? Wait, send some. Send some good day! Session two is officially done. Everyone's taking their projects up to get graded, and we'll take a short break, and we'll be back for session three. So check out part three of these videos on the restorative art three-day lab. Okay, we're finally done.